Hello everyone. Welcome you all. In this session, I am going to discuss about the advantages, disadvantages and applications of solar photovoltaic system. In the previous systems uh, sessions, I am uh, discussed about the working of the solar cell as well as I have discussed about the solar photovoltaic power plant. Concern to that, what are the advantages and disadvantages and applications are there for that solar power, uh, solar photovoltaic power plant. Okay, here first we will take the advantages of solar photovoltaic system. In that the first one is that direct conversion of light into electricity through a simple solid state device. Here the solar cell what we are going to use. Okay, that converts directly solar light into electricity and that whatever the device is there, it is a very simple. Next one is that absence of moving parts. As there are no moving parts, only solar cells, they are directly the stationary parts are there. Therefore, no lubrication, no maintenance is required for that. Maintenance cost is low as they are easy to operate. The maintenance of the solar panels as well as that system which will convert that is direct current into the electricity, their maintenance is very less. Therefore, low maintenance. And they do not produce pollution as it is a non-pollutant and renewable energy source. That's why it's not producing any pollution. They have a long effective life. Okay, the solar panel or the solar photovoltaic system is there. It is having a longer life, about the 5 to 10 years of the life it is having. They are highly reliable. Okay, we can easily believe on that one. Okay, the system which are there, we can believe and we can keep the trust on that, the system what is there. They consume no fuel to operate as the sun's energy is free. Okay, they will not consume any energy directly the sun's energy which is free, it is using there. They have a rapid response in input to output radiation changes. If input radiation changes, then the output what is there, okay, that energy that will be quick response is there, quickly changing. They are easy to fabricate. The system what is there that can be easily fabricated. They have a high power to weight ratio. Weight ratio, the whatever the unit power generation for that weight, whatever we are going to use for the solar photovoltaic system, that is less therefore high photovoltaic, high power to weight ratio we have. Then apart from those advantages, some disadvantages of this solar photovoltaic systems are there. These are the high initial cost of installing panels. The panel installation, what is there, including panel cost and that converter or inverter and later that whatever the transmission is there, there its cost will be more. Okay, therefore initially, once if you invest, uh, install that one, the cost will be uh, less later maintenance, but initially the cost will be more. Solar energy storage is expensive. The storage, if you are producing the uh, during the day only, and that can be stored to use in the night, therefore it storage, whatever is there, that cost will be more because we have to use the batteries and battery cost will be higher. No solar radiation at night and varies. Okay, the solar radiation what we are going to use, it is not available in the night and this is varies from the morning tuning. There is a variation in the energy availability as well as it is not availability is there in the night. Solar doesn't work for every roof type. Okay, every roof type whatever is there for every roof type, it will not work. The roof up is specially designed to install the solar photovoltaic system on that only it will work. Otherwise, you have to design the roof in such a way that we can install the photovoltaic system on there. Solar panels are dependent on sunlight. The sunlight is required and if the sunlight is not there, we cannot use the solar photovoltaic system. These are the disadvantages concerned with the photovoltaic system. The applications of solar photovoltaic systems are first one it can be used for water pumping sets for irrigation and drinking water supply okay for the irrigation for the agriculture and the drinking water in the domestic water supply there we can use it radio beacons for ship and navigation at ports 
okay the radio becomes what are sent to this new uh, ships the for the navigation okay that are are by using the solar photovoltaic system community radio and television television sets the community radio and television sets what are using in the certain group of communities there directly the solar energy can be set there okay that direct electricity we have we are going to get for this community radio and the television sets and cathodic protection of oil pipelines the oil pipelines what are there those will be get corroded and that will be for the uh, longer duration it will not be work function and during that time the protection should be provided that protection what is there that can be pro provided by using the this solar radiation that is a cathodic protection of the oil pipelines weather monitoring here weather whatever is that that can be monitored okay that monitoring system requires a continuous uh, electricity and power and that can be supplied by using the solar photovoltaic system railway signal equipment railway signal sar even the road signals also work independently and there the electricity required that is supplied by the solar photovoltaic system battery charging for the battery charging the charged battery can be used for any of the application that can be used for the any of the application it can be used for lighting or it can be used for the vehicle or it can be used for running of the any equipment okay like that okay the battery charging we can use that can be used for different applications street lighting the street lighting okay usually that independent street lighting sir a set and there the, in the day that will be get charged and light night when the sunlight is not available and there the uh, light detecting diodes are used and thereby can, the lights will be get on at the night okay thereby the solar uh, that is a street lamps will can use that one decentralized or dispersed power generation and simulate the uh, distribution wire lines here the uh, in the centralized power generation the power whatever is there it is produced at a one location and that should be transferred to the uh, some other uh, location where the application is there and that's why there the transmission line or distribution lines are required and those will be uh, having the cost as well as the loss of energy will be taking place and that's why the decentralized and dispersed power generation we can carry out where the power is required there only we can generate therefore that will reduces the other difficulties what are associated with the transmission lines the last one they can be used with or without sun tracking making possible a wide range of applications possibilities not only these applications what we have mentioned here apart from this the many applications are there for the solar photovoltaic system as a solar photovoltaic system it is the one of the a very important solar energy conversion system and that's why it is having the many of the applications but it is having the major advantages also and few disadvantages also it is having but we can use for the its application okay and also we can use continuously being a tropical country india thanks for watching and if you like share subscribe and comment on my video thank you once again